This lesson helps you understand functions and function tables. A function is a relationship between two values and can be represented by a machine. The function machine has inputs, outputs, and a mechanism that defines how to turn an input into an output. For example, if you earn $8 an hour, there's a relationship between the hours you work and the amount of your pay. The inputs are the hours you work. The outputs are the amount of your pay. The internal mechanism is the expression 8x. For example, if you work three hours, you get paid 8 times 3, $24. The inputs to the function are the x values, and the x variable is called the independent variable. The outputs from the function are y values, and the y variable is called the dependent variable because the output depends on the input. You can organize the input values, the output values, and the function rule in a table. For one hour's work, you earn $8. For two hours, $16. For three hours, $24, and so on. Here's an example of a function table with the rule x plus 7. So for an input of 10, the output is 17. For an input of 12, the output is 19. And for an input of 14, the output is 21. If you have a table of outputs and a function rule, you can work backwards to find the inputs. In this example, if the output is found by multiplying by 3, then the input is found by dividing by 3. So, for an output of 6, the input is 2. For an output of 15, the input is 5. And for an output of 21, the input is 7. The inputs and outputs of a function can be represented as a set of ordered pairs. So you can graph the function on the coordinate plane. 2 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 6 comma 3, and 8 comma 4. Finally, the graph shows you an important property of functions. One input x maps to only one output y. This lesson helped you understand functions and function tables. And this lesson was brought to you by the Math Fun Academy. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, to boldly go where no math student has gone before.